What's up? I'm live. And you actually heard the I'm that time because I said it loud enough for once. Yeah, as I said I think last stream, I do say I'm live. I don't just say live. But usually it comes across as just live. Because noise gates. Anyway. Sorry, you're not dead. I honestly don't know how to respond to that. Yeah, I don't know how to respond to that. I don't have any witty remarks or anything. I don't know how to play off of that. Nice to see you too, Geeson. <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, yeah, anyway. Um, it's Wednesday, so you know what that means, right? It means more Pokemon, because what else do I do on Wednesdays anymore? Remember when I used to play GTA on Wednesdays? Yeah, that's probably never going to happen again outside of 5M, because nobody wants to play it anymore. Real wonderful. Um, but yeah, anyway. Pokemon. Specifically Brilliant Diamond. Do you remember that Professor Oak's challenge I started back in... March? <laughs> Was it March? I think it started back in March. Yeah, we're at the end of June and I'm still not done with it. And that's not because I'm being lazy. No, I'm, I mean, I am. But I don't have a choice in the matter. I won't be done until the middle of next month. Fucking RNG. Um. Oh yeah, is that new system that Twitch implemented for saying what a stream actually is? Is that implemented yet? I haven't fucked with it, so... I had the mature setting enabled, but if they went and removed that and replaced it with their new filtering system or whatever, and I don't have it set to profanity. Oh well, I guess I'll get a warning from Twitch. Don't fuck with the goddamn settings that have worked for years, you asshats. Sounded better in your head? Yeah, I can imagine so, Geeson. I know that you're just fucking around, so that's why I'm not upset by it or anything, but certainly you say that to the wrong person especially at the wrong time, and that could go a very different way. Uh, yeah, anyway, Brilliant Diamond. Because I have to catch all these goddamn legendaries at some point, even if it's not super urgent. Because literally, I've got just under a month to go before I can finish this playthrough off. What a pain. Nope. That one. I'm the only user on my Switch, by the way. I just have four profiles. And the only reason I really have them is because of Urshifu. No. Well, Urshifu is part of the reason, but originally I think it was for Reggie Alecki and Reggie Drago, because you have a choice in the matter as to which you get. But if I want regular ones and shinies... I need four saves. Oh, nice, Geeson. Well, you can make the most of that, then. Uh, I have no clue what I'm doing. I should probably heal my party. Pressing buttons, thank you for responding. Apparently I caught Electrike and Bread for Why Not last time I did this, as well as getting Giratina and Regigigas and Love Disk, Lapras. I just box list it. Oh, there's all the Pokemon that I actually did last time. So I got these two, and then I got those three as well. Oh, you're actually asleep. Neat. Deli Bird have been spotted. Oh boy, that is not useful to me in the slightest. Yeah, the next time I'm going to be able to catch something from the Daily Swarms is the 27th. Yeah, 27th, and that's going to be Spoink. 
And then I have to wait until the 17th of next month for Pidgey. I'm really glad that the RNG is predictable in this game because it means that I've known that for weeks and I don't have to log into the game every day and check, what's the daily swarm for today? Is it what I need? No? Great. Why am I running? Literally just, oh, okay, this is how everything is. All right, when do I need, when do I see this Pokemon? That date, uh, that one's that date. Oh yeah, going through the calendar and seeing that, um... Seeing that Spoink and Pidgey were three and six weeks out, respectively, was, uh, not nice. I've only got Mysterious Shards. I don't know which things I need, though. Which slates. I've already done you. I think I've already done you as well. Yes. Is the Nero used in racing? Uh, sometimes, Geeson. I mean, not anymore. Because nobody wants to fucking do it, but... Yeah. It's, uh... It's not as fast as the Nero Custom, but... It's... It can be used. Please, surf. Usually, most people would upgrade it to the Nero Custom, which is good around Grapus, but again, nobody wants to fucking race anymore, so... <laughs> what's it matter? <sighs> yes, I'm still annoyed about that. Because I seem to be one of the few people that enjoys racing too much to want to abandon GTA at this point. Not to mention I'm tired of boycotting companies. Not a pedestal. Yeah, it's a Benny's upgrade. The Nero to Nero custom. It will come back when EJ's around. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, I see. I have two of those in the bag, so let me just buy one of you, because I'll need that for Ho-Oh. I'll need you for Kyogre. So why is the tectonic slate on the water? I mean, I guess, but... I need one of you. I need one of you. Genome slate must be Mewtwo. Yeah. And then I'm not going to bother with the Distortion Slate, because that doesn't actually do anything for me besides get me an item, maybe? It's not like I can catch that version of, uh, what do I call it? Back here. That's the Genome Rune. Ah, uh, sure, let's do this. Kind of wanted to find... Oh, oh, specifically because I wouldn't have to scroll the page that I'm using to track all this. But, uh... Hell, let's just scroll up anyway. And yeah, just as a reminder, I got all the mysterious shards I needed during the last section of the playthrough. The last section of the challenge. Back before I even started this section with all the legendaries. Before I challenged the Elite Four and all that. And that's mostly because I was looking for a goddamn Moonstone. I never did get that Moonstone from the Underground. I had to go steal it off of a Clefairy. But I got more Mysterious Shards than I needed for this final section. Uh, let's see. Quick Ball. Why can you never quick capture? Crit capture would be so nice. It probably can't against a legendary, to be fair, or it's such a slim chance. Yeah, that's more or less how I feel, Geeson. Like, just. It's not like the game's really gonna disappear or anything, right? It just. It is what it is at this point. 
And one small racing community giving up is not going to affect their... the way that they handle the game, so... Why do I care? Let's see if I can actually get Parasex switched in here cleanly. Or if it's just gonna die. It's just gonna die. Yep. That's fine. I'll go to backup. Which is T Wave. Interesting choice, not gonna lie. I could probably Electro Ball it. Yeah. Even a crit. Yeah, that too. We'll be waiting until 2026, probably, for anything. Or 2025 at the earliest if it comes out 2024. We're always going to have to pay the PC tax of, well, you're not a console, so fuck off for a year. Oh, are they bugged? Oh, Geeson, just keep in mind, I'm not sure that that bug with the, uh, the cars was fixed yet. I haven't seen anything on it being fixed, so... Keep an eye on your insurance, you know? Even if you're playing in a solo session. Especially since you can't buy certain cars anymore. Thanks, Cockstar. I'm just gonna switch to timer ball. You fly planes don't think they're affected? Probably not. I don't. Can you even own a plane that isn't insured? Is, is insurance even a thing on the planes? I don't think it is. I don't feel like it is, at least. Oh my god, Mewtwo. Please! So you know power swap and guard swap. Okay. The fact that I'm not even getting more than, like, one shake is kind of dumb. And finally, apparently, I just had to send out the turtle. Yeah, see, I fly my planes and helicopters and whatnot so infrequently now. Like ever since they released the submarine with the uh, the sparrow, is it? Why would you use anything else most of the time? For just, like, casual use. Uh, is this Rayquaza or Kyogre? No, it's the Rainbow Room. Cool! We'll go in Pokedex order-ish. I don't know where Kyogre and Rayquaza are. By the way, this probably won't take all night, so I don't know what I'm gonna do after this. But I can at least get this bit done. I didn't heal. Ball, go! It's not gonna do anything, but please do. One shake. I'm not surprised. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> wow, really? Oh, 
Jesus. Sure, max revive, why not? I've got six of the damn things. More than I'm gonna need. Oh, can it? Nice. Yeah, I considered buying that, but one, this update sucks, and two, I only have like seven million, so... Even with the trade price, that's still like most of my money. Yeah, you know, that's fair, but you also crit again. There, why don't you just knock out another Pokemon so I can revive my... Pachirisu. Sure, let's do another one, why not? All because I'm too lazy to back out, restart the game, and uh, heal them properly. Well, that is the one with T-Wave. Of course, if I just taught the others T-Wave, this wouldn't be an issue. Oh, are you kidding me? What's the accuracy on you? 90. This'll hurt. That, okay, that was a crit. Oh. Okay, so it's not worth it to even try and knock you down. Got it. I'll throw one dust ball before throwing timers. An 8v1 dog. Fucking three shake. 8v1 dog fight. And you didn't get hit once. Might I just add, the odds of getting free shake and not capture is not that high. But to see that happen is always very annoying. Like, the odds of getting free shake are not too dissimilar to the odds of actually catching the Pokemon. You're much more likely to get zero, one, or even two shakes. Oh good. Not like I wasn't gonna be dead quickly anyway if you actually attack. Nice. That just leaves three legendaries? Well, four. But three in Romanus Park. Yeah, this really should take less than two hours at absolute most. Woo. Alright, can I just go back to playing the game? I saw the statue with the first pan. If I go over this way... Okay, it looks like there's another one right there, then that's probably Rayquaza. Double check! Yep. I'm not gonna do them right the second, because my team's basically dead. Of course, if I could get out of this cutscene... that wall thinking about it. I would just fly from there 
as a side note, but they don't let you do that. Tally GTB, um, it's a good car. Let me just look real quick. Uh, that should work. Maybe. No. Hot. Thank you. You know, I probably never actually allowed it in that channel, which is why. Um... <laughs> run it where it will work. No? What the hell was the command I did? Oh, purge. Let me just see if it does work in Twitch chat. It does work in Twitch chat. Um... I didn't remove the Atelier GTP, eh? <laughs> well, I guess it's not that big of a deal if you don't keep it, but... It's not a bad car. Did I heal? It's another car that's... It's on the slower side, but it's another one that works at greatest. But beyond that, it's not overly useful. Like, it's not that fast. It's not the best handling car. You know, things like that. Oh, you know, right. Oh, that's a ledge. Okay. This is Kyogre's room. No, this is the rainbow room. God damn it, where's Kyogre? Is that the one that's back here, or is this distortion? 811... Yeah, 811 is worth having, because it's the fastest supercar in a straight line. Unless you're on the consoles, of course, but we don't care about them on PC. Because we don't have HSW, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, if we ever do point-to-point uh, -point with supers, that's where the 811 is really good. Or Pi's Hot Ring Circuit. As opposed to point-to-point. -point. If we run supers there also good there but yeah if you don't have it imagine if Kyogre was pink instead of blue I have four of the fucking things just from Pokemon Go alone so I really don't need any more shiny Kyogre but uh, it would be funny I'm pretty sure you can get the shiny, right? Surely they didn't shiny lock the Romanus Park Pokemon. No. Okay. I was gonna say, there's no fucking way the Quick Ball worked for once. Uh, I mean, Grass Knot and Giga Drain will probably kill it. Honestly, Giga Drain probably does less because Kyogre's fucking massive. As long as it doesn't crit, it won't kill it. Unless that was a really low roll. Nope, we're good. Oh. 
Well, that's not ideal. I want to see if I can get a wa a uh, yeah a clean switch in. Wait a second! Hold! Wait! 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 That was sheer cold. How? Are you kidding me? Like I'm not misremembering, right? Uh. Okay, hold on. If Sheer Cold hits, it will inflict damage equal to the target's current HP. Yes. So it has an accuracy of 33%. Just as a reminder, it just hit. But then on top of that, apparently, because Sheer Cold does the exact amount of HP and not just fuck you levels of HP, you can survive it with a with a, a an affection sash. Yes, that's the word I want. Um. Huh. Today I learned. Not realize that you could survive share cold. <laughs> also, if Kyogre wants to do anything to me, I'm dead, most likely, so. But it tried to use sheer cold, and that was good for me. Unfortunately, I don't think that there's any way for me to do anything about the Aqua Ring, so just start chucking balls while the HP is relatively low. Nice. If it doesn't pop out immediately on the third shake, it's guaranteed. At that point, it's caught. Just how it's programmed. Alright, Kyogre Get. That just leaves Groudon and Rayquaza. That's a whole lot of... Not much. There's the actual statue. Enigma Berry. Nickel Berry. Why so many berries? Oh my god, the frickin' hitboxes in this game are terrible. I can't wait to be done playing this. Here. Yeah. This is Groudon's room. Good, it didn't show me the animation again. Uh, I want to revive Scyther, I guess. And these new berries. Enigma berry. It's literally a question mark. Well, at least it has that design on it. the tectonic slate. Sure to save the game. In we go. So just to mention this as well, currently we're sitting at 425 Pokemon caught on this save file. There's 68 to go. 
it was nice until I caught Kyogre. Um, except I can't catch 68, I can catch 8. Between version exclusives, trade evolutions, and... No, Pokemon that just are inaccessible. There's a lot of Pokemon that I can't catch. Apparently 60 of them. Alright. Fissure? Uh, I mean, that works too, I guess. Actually, I'm just gonna chuck balls for the time being. If it wants to hammer arm me some more and drop its speed some more, that'd be great. Because then I have a better chance switching... Oh. Okay, never mind. Alright, I get one ball at this point, and yeah, Dusk Ball is going to be my best bet. And it's a... okay, it's, it's guaranteed. <laughs> it's a crit capture. Crit capture on low HP while sleeping, even with a legendary? That's basically guaranteed. It's not literally, but the odds of it popping out there are less than it's staying in. They left up the box truck. Yeah. The list is nonsensical. And by nonsensical, I mean it's because they removed the cheapest vehicles available and left all the expensive ones that you're actually likely to want to buy. Like a fire truck. So stupid. But yeah, as I was saying, um, I now have seven Pokemon to capture, or a bus, yeah. And um, five of them I have to wait on RNG for. So there's Rayquaza and one other. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to get this all done by the top of the hour, but uh, we'll see. Rayquaza was up here. Yes. Eh, you're good enough. You know, I wonder if this game has the same sort of uh, math for crit captures as Scarlet and Violet. Because it turns out in Scarlet and Violet, if the capture rate is high enough such that the ball that you you are about to throw is guaranteed, it'll just do a crit capture. At least once you have that ability and probably have the, the capture charm or whatever, if that's even a thing in that game, I don't remember. That's why I was crit capturing all the Dunsparce the other week is because they're guaranteed captures with a quick ball, so they just always crit capture. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> Rayquaza's god. <laughs> um, that's why you throw a quick ball, because that can happen. It's like 5%, but it can happen. Alright. Uh, one to go. Maybe I will be able to finish this by the top of the hour. Oh, fancy. Let's see. Give me the link to the guide, because I didn't actually open that since there's basically no point. Because I'm catching the legendaries and nothing else. I want to see... What do you actually have to say?
Yep. Yeah, it works out such that there's exactly 60 Pokemon that you cannot obtain. Version exclusives, trade evolutions, and event Pokemon. So it's not just mythical Pokemon that you literally... well... Yeah, I guess the only mythical Pokemon that you can't obtain in this game, or couldn't obtain at any point in this game, are Celebi and Deoxys. Because early on there was a Manaphy Egg event, which gets you Manaphy and by extension Fiona. Fiona? Fiona? I've never known which is right. With Let's Go and Sword or Shield save data, you can get both Mew and Jirachi. And then there were events that unlocked Darkrai and Shaman. Plus, with the release of Legends, you also are able to get Arceus if you do the right thing. So, yeah, I figured there'd be more stuff in here. So that just leaves Celebi and Deoxys as the only Pokemon that you could not get at any point during the lifespan of this game. And by lifespan, I mean the couple of months where it was, like, actually being worked on properly. And I mean, I guess that technically did extend beyond Legends released, but... Let's be real. Once Legends came out, hardly anybody gave a shit about this game anymore. Alright, well technically there is one more thing I can do in Hermanus Park, but it's not a Pokemon to capture. It is a battle, and only a battle. So, let's ignore that. And let's go fly up to my favorite little spot right here. Hello? Thank you. I need to find the right thing. Please go left. Oh, you are beautiful. Uh, hold on. What level do you get encountered at? We're all level 70. Oh yeah, my two shinies that I found during this playthrough. Of course, you're all either too high or way too low. Uh, I think if I go find you, you're level 48. Perfect. The reason why I want that is so that I can throw a rappel on. Remember what pocket they're in. Right there. Get off the bike and just run around until it appears. There it is. Now, normally, Cresselia will try and run away, and it's extremely obnoxious to capture it. But if you just chuck a Master Ball at it, it ain't getting away. I decided I'm not going to use it on anything else in this save, so I might as well just get this over and done with. So there we go. The online deck says I should have 428 caught. The in-game deck says 428 caught. Pokemon I'm missing are... Not you three. 
these three, Pidgey, Pidgeotto, and Pidgeot. And... Uh, no, you'll be... Right there. Spoinking Grumpig. That's literally all I can capture that I'm missing. But as I've said many times, I have to wait until the 27th for Spoink and 17th of next month for Pidgey. So, essentially, I'm done with this playthrough for the moment. There's nothing more I can do. Well, there's that one thing, I guess. Managing things is so much easier when you can just use the touch screen. That's actually how I tend to do my home management when I have to maneuver things around like this, specifically because the touch screen is just so much faster than using this. Because you can literally just swipe across a selection to do this, if I can actually have the A press register. Like, you can just swipe and get the same thing so much better. Yeah, legendaries. Do they have any items? No. Some of them are still sleeping or paralyzed, or you're just like Rayquaza where you got in the ball instantly. Oh, uh, how nice. Alright, well like I said, there's basically nothing more I can do, so... How about I go do one last thing before the top of the hour? See if I can do it, at least. I don't know if I can. And I still have a large mysterious shard left over. Plus two smalls. Oh, I can actually bike in here. Oh, nice. Uh, where is this? Is it up here? Yes. Distortion room. Alright, Gason, thanks for having out. hanging out. Have a good one. One final slate. Let's see how well this goes. Heard of her now. Yeah. Right, it's at level 100, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, if you do take me down with you, that's fine by me. I still win. Wow, that... Even forgetting it was level 100, I didn't think it was going to be that simple. Granted, it's only because it used Destiny Bond. And no, you cannot capture that. Also, Scyther's now level 69. I already have Giratina. I cannot capture the Ghost Giratina thing. Yep, welcome to the distortion room. Where's the player character? Oh, um... 
That's... Ah. Yeah, that's, that's weird. Please, let's get out of that room. So yeah, that battle is purely so you can get the Grissius Orb and thus get Origin Form Giratina. That's all that was about. Did they just give you the, uh, the really rare battery, batteries, berries from Gen 3? Is that what all these are? Because, like, pretty sure these are all the rare berries from Gen 3. Well, except maybe Roselli, because fairy type, or it was repurposed. Some of them were. Leechy, Ganlon, I believe. Enigma, obviously. Telic, Roab. Some of them at least were. Alright, well, there's... Now that I've done that, there's literally nothing more for me to do until the 27th. You know, I knew this wasn't going to take long, but I legitimately did not expect to be done before the first break. Do I take the first break ten minutes early? I might as well. Yeah, let's do that. More Spyro, I'm not hooking up the PS3. Screw that. Let's just go over to here real quick, because, uh, guess what, YouTube? Your recording is ending. Real short, real, real shortly. Real soon, yes. I'm trying to say two words at once. Always works well. Anyway, yeah, um, if you're watching this on YouTube, thanks for watching. But, uh, you'll have to catch the next part in the other VOD. That won't be linked in the description, because that's too much effort. Look, I'm lazy and I don't get paid enough for this shit. Anyway, bye YouTube!